Next one is emotional intelligence or commonly known as EQ. So this is the ability to recognize and manage own emotions and recognize and influence the emotions of others. So how you deal with your own emotions and how you could influence the emotions of other people. So if you are emotionally intelligent, it means you can maintain a healthy relationship. It is also being aware that emotions can drive behavior and impact people in a negative or positive way and learning how to manage emotions both one's own and others when under pressure. So how you could deal with your own emotions, let's say when you don't have enough resources, when you are also experiencing setbacks and failures. Now, according to Goldman, there are strategies no, to enhance our emotional intelligence. So first one, think about feelings. So you have to be sensitive to your own feelings and to other people's feelings. So let's say, for example, a teacher has to be aware of his or her student's background or situation that may trigger negative emotion. In that case, he or she would know the right approach when dealing with sensitive issues in class. Uh, let's say a teacher doesn't know that one of her students is, is a rape victim. Yeah, ga joke joke siya about rape. So again, let's be sensitive. And as a good teacher, as an excellent teacher, you know how to uh, give remedy in that situation. Next is pause. This is... Uh, thinking before doing anything so just like what they say no do not make decisions when you are angry so for example at the peak of anger with a student who commits violations a teacher may gently pause for a while and take a moment of silence to rethink and cool down before jumping to any decision in order to avoid and toward consequences so, nai nga pabuyag nga bata. Si teacher po, gi high blood na daan, kay daghan pang trabaho on, diritsyo rapo dayon siya gata ng decision sa bata without knowing nga nakasakit na dayon siya sa student. So, again, let's take a break. So, pause before doing something, anything na mag-regret rapo da at the end. Next is strive to control one's thoughts. So, this is controlling the reaction to emotion. So say for example, instead of overreacting to a certain incident or situation in class, try to control negative thoughts to see different colors at the end of rainbow among students. As such, try to find beauty in all things despite not so good uh, circumstances that may happen. So this is being about uh, optimistic, no? seeing a positive sign no next is benefit from criticism so criticism even not delivered in a favorable way is an opportunity to learn and it gives idea <clears throat> on how others think about you so say for example if your superior no so in your principal in your head gives negative feedback on your work you kita Hatagan tag negative feedback, malain da yung tano. So instead of taking it personally, uh, gratefully accept it with humility and appreciation. Just think that it is for your improvement. So ato lang to siyang dawaton and let's say nga, uh, we should do better next time and this is for my improvement. Number five is show authenticity so this is saying what we mean with what we say and we have to stick on to our values and principles so for uh say for example in times of confrontation with parents as teachers uh, we should clearly express our side with respect and sincerity while consistently upholding on to the principle and truth behind the issue in order to avoid resorting to heated argument and conflict at the end. So we must stick to the truth 
and to the values and to the principles that we uphold. Sixth one is demonstrate empathy. So as teachers, no, especially online class, every one of us is adjusting to this a new normal of teaching, of learning. So uh, we must reach out to our students who are in their worst situations and try to understand them and feel as we were in the same boat, as if we were in the same boat. So, dili tapasaga dog ingon nga, let's say, mam, wala ko kapil sa klase kay <clears throat> walay signal or galisod ko na, oh, sige, hagbong nakadiritso ana, no? So, I also uh, experienced this one, di ba? If I remember mo last time nga, I was having a uh, difficulty in uploading the videos, those pre-recorded lecture videos. So, I asked help from my students and some of the students responded also. So, again, dili lang kay si teachers ang uh, mo demonstrate of empathy but also kamo students, no? Kay every one of us, kitang tanan man, galisod in this uh, situation. Next one is we have to praise others. So, this is by way of acknowledging and appreciating others toward attaining self-fulfillment uh, and building trust. So, for example, teachers should give acknowledgement and praise to students for their deeds that are worth commending. So, we must uh, compliment them if they did a good job, especially mga elementary teachers. Uh, ganahan kay ng mga bata no? if you would encourage them, if you would praise them. Eighth one is give helpful feedback. So, although negative feedback may hurt one's feelings, just like what I said, at some point, it can be turned constructive for one's improvement. So, when we receive a negative feedback from our superior, uh, superiors at mga heads, uh, we have to take it as a challenge toward becoming a better and stronger person. Ninth one is... Oh, this one is maragdaghag magkalisod ani no? Apologize. So, saying sorry demonstrates humility, a quality that will naturally win others as you value the relationship more than your ego. So, ma'am, ano nga kung ma-apologize nga dili man ako ang fault, dili man ako ang sanan. So, for example, when we commit mistakes, in teaching, let's say as a teacher, mapa big or small man siya mistake, there is nothing to lose when we apologize. Even at times, doing it may seem to be very difficult. So let's say sorry, bugat kayo na siya ng word no, so daghan ka yung tao nga maglisod o glitok anang word. So again, saying sorry no or apologizing to other people. Tenth one is forgive and forget. Oh, mas lisod na jud ni siya, ma'am, no? Forgiving and forgetting prevent others from holding emotions and allowing one to move forward. So, when a student or a colleague, a teacher, parent, no? Parent man gunang daghan kay mga reklamo hurts us, uh, we should be ready to forgive and let go of the pains that somehow cost us. So, dili kay imong dungtan ang bata or ang parent abi kay nakasala na na siya niyo, no? So, we have to let go of those uh, bad memories that we had with them. So, again, forgive and forget. Eleventh is keep our commitment. So, say for example, when you are given a task in school, uh, make sure that you commit yourselves, your time and efforts into it. So remember that opportunities may only come once. So therefore, grab every opportunity that may come along your way, for it may never come again. Twelve is help others. So in every school activity, may mga programs. So we have to find ways to help others accomplish their tasks successfully. In return, they will be grateful to us. So, 
Let's say na yung mga online assignments, quizzes, activities, and one of your classmates, no? Uh, needs help. So, as a classmate would, no? Nga nag-care toward your, uh, toward your peer. So, tabangan po na niyo, no? So, mutual benefit ba? Okay. In time, makabalos ra po doon yan na sila niyo. And lastly is, so, this is being wise enough. Uh, 13th one is protect ourselves from emotional sabotage. So, this is being wise enough in protecting ourselves when others attempt to manipulate our emotions for personal sake. So, say for example, or commonly, mumanjo ni siya yung mga away-away, cause sa mga away-away. Uh, when we feel that someone has been excessively or wrongly controlling our actions, feelings, and decisions. Stop it in any right but subtle and courteous way possible. So, when we feel that someone is uh, doing something bad against us, so, you talk to that person calmly. So, dili po kayo ngon. Iwag na akong gidaon. Hana da yun ka diritsyo, no? So, uh, taas da yung tuno diritsyo. So, Approach him or her in a calm way, and then you talk to them. Oh, mag heart to heart talk. Mm. So these are the strategies, no, to improve our emotional intelligence.